right, let's see if we can do division a little easier. It's all about estimating, and oh my goodness, people get confused. So let's let's try this. Let's do 52 into 498. Let's see what happens with 52 into 498, okay? So we're going to say 52 goes into 498 how many times? All right, now instead of doing my traditional thing where I start putting my answer above the line, I'm going to put a line on this side here. And I'm going to think about this. Hmm, that's roughly 50 into 500. Well, I don't know, but I do know that if I count by 50s, I know that if I multiply 4 times 50, that's going to give me 200. So let me start with that. Okay, no problem. So I'm going to put my 4 over here on the other side of my line. I'm going to say 4 times 2 I know is 8, no problem there. And I know that 4 times 50 is 200, so I'm going to put that here. Okay? So I don't have to go through this, you guess, too low business, because I knew in my head 4 times 52, that's roughly 200. All right, so 8 minus 8 gives me a 0. 9 minus 0 gives me a 9. And 4 minus 2 gives me a 2, so I got 290. Well, hey, I know that 4 times 52 is 208, so I can use 4 again. So I'm going to put another 4 over here, right underneath that one. I'm going to put my 208, because I know 4 times 52 is 208, because I just tried that. No problem there. All right, now I'm going to subtract that. 10 minus 8 gives me my 2. 8 minus 0 gives me my 8. Well, I know 52 will go into that once, so I'm going to put my 1 over here. 1 times 52 gives me my 52. Put that under here. Subtract. Come up with 30. 52 can't go into that, so let's see what I have here. Okay, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So my answer then is going to be 9 remainder 30. Now let's see if that worked. Poor old Timmy would have loved this. What a sad thing. I was a new teacher and didn't know better. But let's see if it worked. So we're going to check. We're going to go 9 times 52. Now let's see what we get here. Let's hope and pray it works. 9 times 2 is 18. Put down the 8. Carry the 1. 9 times 5 is 45 and 1 is 46. And what was our remainder? 30. We're going to add our 30 on. Well, what do you know there? 498. Okay? So that's ladder division. You follow that? You want me to do one more for you? All right. Let me try one more, and then you should be good to go. So I'm going to clear this off. Let's see. Stop drawing. Boom, it's gone. Okay. Let's say I wanted to do 63. Let me get my tool back again here, and let's see what I can do here. Okay. Let's say I wanted to do 63 into, uh, let's go with 3,502. Okay. So I'm putting that there. I'm putting this here. And I'm putting my line to the side for my ladder. Okay, 63. So I'm saying, okay, roughly 6 into 3,000. I know 5, but I don't want to take a chance because of what if it goes over. So I think I'll start with 4. All right, but is it really 4? No, because 4 times 60 is going to give me about 240. And I don't want about 240. I want in the thousands. So I'm going to start with 40. That would make a little more sense, okay? So I know if I go 0 times 63, I get 0, right? Now I'm going 4 times 3 is 2. Carry the 1. 4 times 6 is 24, and 1 is 25. Okay. Now I'm going to do my subtracting here. And why does this work, by the way? Because division is really repeated subtraction. 10 minus 2 is 8. So you can do, you can go on forever with this. It's just repeated subtraction. Okay, I got to my, this is down to 14 minus 5 is 9. I got 982 left. So I'm going to say, all right, let's see here. 6 into 90. 9 is about 1 and a half of 6. So I don't know. I'm just going with 10 now. Uh, 
Yeah, let me go with 10. I want to make it easy. I don't want to be doing any complicated numbers. Let me just go with powers of 10. So 10 times 63 is going to give me 630. Because I don't want to do anything hard. Poor Timmy, this is in his honor. I'm going to figure out what that kid is doing now. Okay, 982 minus 630. I got my 2 here. I got my 5 here. And I've got my 3 here. Okay, well, 63 into 300. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I knew 10 times it was 630. Half of 10 is 5. Half of 630 would be 315. Oh, yeah, I am going with 5. Okay, so I'm going to take my 5. 5 times 3 is 5. Carry the 1. 5 times 6 is 30. Plus 1 is 315. Oh, I'm getting down there. I am getting close. 12 minus 5 is 7. 4 minus 1 is 3. There's my remainder. Now let's see. 40 plus 10 is 50 plus 5 is 55. So that would be 55. Remainder 37. Let's see if it works. Believe it or not, I did not try this beforehand. I was just going to give you one problem and I thought I'll throw in another one. And I just did this off the top of my head. So I hope it works. 55 remainder 37. And let's see if it works. Alrighty. So we're going to go down here and say 63 times 55. Let's see what we get. Alrighty, so we are going to say 5 times 3 is 15. Put down the 5, carry the 1. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 315. Alright, so it worked, so we're going to put our 315 again, which is 5, 1. Squeeze our 3 in here. Alright, now we're going with 5, 6, 4, 3. Now what was our remainder? 37. I hope it works so I don't have to do this whole clip again. Alrighty, let's see. 5 and 7 is 12. So far so good. Yay, 2, carry the 1. That's going to be 0, carry the 1. 3502 works like a charm. There's your ladder division. In Timmy's honor, please make it easier for your kids.